Hello, this is Scott Herman. Hey. And Sean Seberg. So we're getting ready for Beat Me Down Episode 6, Gravity Kills. And my SHF towels just came in. Ooh, just in time sweet. to wipe the sweat from Sean's brows as he gets angry that I'm not tired during his stupid workout. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have this tire. We don't know how much it weighs. So Cliff had a great idea. I weighed myself on the scale. I weigh 180 pounds. And I'm going to do is put the scale on, try and hold this tire up and <laughs> see if it works. What? Such a weird idea. It's a good idea. That's how they, that's how they weigh my, um, my cousin Corey in the hospital. Because he can't... Um... They gave him a tire. <laughs> they weigh the chair and then they weigh him. I think I have to, it's errored out. I think you have to step on the scale. It's a digital scale. With the weight. Okay. <sighs> Don't break it. <laughs> it's error. It keeps error out. Well. You too fat for that scale. Oh, is that a scale here? Error and out. Mm. It can't be because it's too heavy, because it holds up to 500 pounds. Because it's too stupid. Did you tap on it and wait for the zero zero? Yeah. Okay, wait for it to go zero zero. I know how to use my scale. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it again. Maybe it's just a really dumb scale. <laughs> or, <laughs> this goes up to 500? How do you know? It's going to say Dermax. Generally they he do. He doesn't know. It doesn't. No, they don't. They generally go up to 400, sir. Really? Yes. Oh, sorry. Because when you weigh more than 400 pounds, that's an issue. <laughs> so then if it goes up to 400, then maybe the scale's like 250. Unless you are like 6 foot 8, there, there's not a lot like, of ways like you can Ronkowski? hold 400 pounds <laughs> logically. Well, Sean's a lot that lighter than sense. I am. Maybe if he stands on the scale, it'll compensate him. It'll say derp. <laughs> We're not going to talk about how much I weigh. One more time. Yep. So this tire is about 250 probably. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that. It's just it's hard to, it's hard to figure out. Why are you break scale? Uh, anyways, so we got a bunch of activities we're doing. We got the, uh, our board written out. The purpose of this routine is to do 525 reps, and there's six exercises. And so what we're gonna do is keep track of my reps. And you're supposed, we're supposed to basically figure out the best way to complete all the reps without killing yourself. So you do as fast as possible. So the first exercise is gonna be the tire flip, and then that's the tire jump. Just I jump. was hoping it was heavier. It's okay. We're gonna find a 500 pound tire for Scott to flip. For me to flip. Let's flip big tires. So what's we doing? Use a car. Maybe Chevy will give us a big tire. No. Let's just, let's just go out to the parking lot and use one of the cars. Just flip a car. Flip. So what are we doing for hanging? Flip a geo. <laughs> Is this over here for a reason? Huh? Is this over here for a reason? I have no idea. All right. Let's then. move it. Get this thing out of here. <sighs> so are we just doing. Basically, what we did last time. Come up like this. Knee tuck, all the way. Yes. Yes. Full tuck. Yes. Full tuck down. Extension stabilizer. That's the one we did first. What's that? The extension stabilizer. Yeah, two push up stabilizer. Separate your feet. You're going to bend your knees. Yes. And then extend back. Yep. Should I try and sit back like this, my butt? Yep. Okay. Simple. Enough. Just like that. Pretty basic. But we're doing 120. Do, yeah, we should do 10 to 10 to 20 of them. <laughs> They're a little different. Gliding hamstring curl was gonna be over here, right? Yeah. You, oh, the glide. The good old fashioned. A good old fashioned gliding hamstring curl. Okay. With coffee in the way. Don't worry about that. Everything's gonna be fine. No, no, try it from right there. I'll it's, make it straight. It's kind of weird. It's a weird movement. You guys have probably never seen this before. Either has Cliff. Scott just saw it for the first time. Try to get your feet on there a little bit more. <clears throat> Do and not spill my coffee. Was... When, when you're on there, try to keep, uh, yeah. So, so you're going to hang, hips down. And then you're going to come up. Plant, don't come up on your toes, just to there. And then come down. Boy, it's, it's a really good hamstring hit right there. He's gonna feel that. Yes! Good. You're gonna Am I try thrusting my hips up? Yep, you're gonna try to plant the heel, thrust the hips. Those heels are gonna try to come up on you. 
Yeah. And just, you know, you don't have to overextend or anything here. Good. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling those already. <laughs> Only 50 reps. Only 50 of those. Ah, those are going to suck. That's going to take some work. And then a bench hip thrust. Yep. You know, leg thrust here. Alrighty. Who farted? Not me. I don't do that. <laughs> What are you doing? Just keep it right there. Stop moving things. Here, 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 here. Ooh, I just cracked my spine. Drop, up, drop, up. Not so bad without weight. You can add weight to this movement, uh, which makes it a lot more effective. But we have 125 reps, so you're gonna feel these. And, uh, good little workout from that. So basically what the Beat Me Downs, if you're first time watching a Beat Me Down episode, is Sean comes up with a routine, doesn't tell me it until we get to the studio, and usually we go over it. We just never showed you guys that part of the situation. I hate that word. What? Situation? Yes. <laughs> That's a stupid word to use when you're talking. Butt to ground? Nope. Yeah, just tuck your chin in a little bit here. There you go. Good. Right. And keep the shoulder blades kind of on the bench a little bit. Right there. Right there. So you don't have to go all the way down. Just enough to get, yep, right there. So where, what I'm doing right now is basically figuring out what I think is hardest and easiest to put in between the exercises. So I can do you this can, as fast as possible. You can possible. do these in any order that you want to, really. Because obviously after doing, I mean, feel free to do it how I have it laid out. But it's up to Scott to try to figure out. We should put the goals on here too. Trying to do a little chess here with Scott. See if he can figure out the best way to go about doing this uh, so to get through all the reps. Without doing 50 dying. tire flips, 125 Scott tire jumps. A lot of food last night, which is good. I Chinese food my face off last night. A lot of food. Right. So you definitely have enough sodium in you, which is good. Yeah, I, I changed my peanut butter too. I got the... Um, that sodium is bad. Huh? <clears throat> that sodium was not good to have. Why? Well, you start wrong. Well, you don't have enough sodium in your body. Just stop there, Cliff. Stop there. Well, my question is, doesn't it retain help you retain water? Yeah, water is good for your yeah, body. It's good for you. That's true. If you don't have enough sodium, your water can't retain like what they need. Those. And it messes up your. Doesn't mess up your. But there is a happy balance too? you're talking about, right? Oh yeah, you need like 2,500 to 3,000 milligrams a day. I was actually just reading, I, I like flash read this page on sodium and I was reading all the good stuff and bad stuff. And then I got, then I started making the PDF files for like four hours and it kind of just made me forget stuff I was reading. Yeah. But for the average person who doesn't work out, that's Should, way too much sodium, right? No, it's not. No? For someone no, who doesn't work out, yeah, it's really hard, I mean, it's really hard to say. Everyone, everyone's... Because you could not work out, but you could be a construction worker. But somebody worker. who works out would be able to burn off a lot more... You're not burning off well, sodium. Well, you're not burning off sodium, I know that, but you're... Listen. Able to hold it better. Listen. Sweat it up. Just do the simple answer. Okay. Get on the Scott Herman Fitness meal plan, and it tells you what to have for sodium. Thank you very much. Because if they're watching this video, they're more than likely working out. Very good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> Soccer skills came right in. Sean's always trying to throw balls at my face. Your face. <laughs> I ain't touching that. Okay, so I think we're pretty much ready to go now. I'm gonna blast this thing out. I'm gonna hang my towel over here so it's ready for my face. Sean, you ready to do this? You have a horrible hand, by the way. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. Alright, alright, nation. Let's get ready to have some fun. You swear to God, you throw that ball. There's gonna be. You guys remember Samurai Smackdown? Do you remember Sean? Do you remember Samurai Smackdown? It's not like a hoop. It just doesn't go. Do you remember Samurai Smackdown? No. Paul, no. Paul Pierce, you're not. When I hit you in the face with the sword, and you ate it. Oh, that thing. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, remember when I kicked you in the eyeballs? Yeah, you don't because you don't. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> Alright, you ready to do this? I am that shutting this down. <sighs> Goodbye, boys.